In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the feature manager. Uh, so from the new project page and down below, you'll see the feature list field and beside that you'll see the feature manager option uh, for you to click into. Uh, so if we click into that, that brings you into the feature files page and from within here um, you can edit an existing feature file um, to add or edit features or you can configure a new file uh, to be used. Uh, if I click on new file uh, from within this page um, you'll see an option to extract from DBF. Uh, so if you already have a feature list uh, that was exported um, from another software uh, you can hit the extract from DBF option and browse to the shapefile uh, to extract uh, the feature set. Uh, so if I hit on that option and if I just browse to the internal storage of this device and into my documents folder and into my shapefile folder here I'll, there's a culvert DBF uh, for me to extract from so if I select on this it automatically pulls in um, the feature name which is culvert and it does pull in uh, the attributes associated with this feature uh, so if you do need to edit the existing attributes, uh, you can click on the three-dot menu next to those attributes, or if you need to add additional attributes for this feature, uh, just select on the Add Attribute, and you can start um, adding in additional attributes. Uh, but if everything looks fine, just hit Save, and this just adds uh, the feature um, into the list here. Uh, if you didn't have a shapefile, or feature set that was extracted um, from another software, you can just hit the add option and start manually adding uh, the features you want to the file. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to add an iron post feature, and I'll add an attribute as a boolean type, and I'll describe this as countersunk. Save that and I'll just add one additional uh, numeric attribute input for the depth if that post was countersunk. And once you've configured um, the new feature here and everything looks fine, uh, you can hit save. This will return you back to the feature editor page and you'll see the save option on the top right uh, for you to hit save, uh, which will then prompt you to input a new file name to save as uh, for the feature file there. And then uh, once you hit save, it'll return you back to the feature files page and from here you can select and tap on um, the new file there um, and that will bring you back to the new project page. Uh, and you'll see that the feature file that was selected um, is now going to be used to create the new project. Thanks for taking interest in this video.